Hey guys, welcome to my video. Okay, so we're having a bit of a situation here considering uh, it's early in the morning. No, not early in the morning. Anyway, I can't get my car started, so I can't do what I normally do. So basically, I got up, I went to my car, try to get it started, and guess what? It won't start. So not only won't it start, it won't crank. All right, so this is a no start, no crank situation. Every time I try to start it, I hear a click. And now this is not the first time I've had the situation with this car because it's kind of occurred twice over the last couple months. But every time it occurred, I was able to get it to crank after trying it so many times. Unfortunately, I tried it about 20 times and it's not doing anything at all. Now, here's the kicker to it because everything else works. I mean, I get in, the uh, remote works, I get in, I hear all the, you know, all the chimes, all the sounds, etc., etc. Try to start it, I hear all the sounds, the dash light up. Everything seems a-okay, except when it gets to the cranking stage, it won't crank. So, anyway, I thought maybe, maybe I left the lights on, but the lights weren't left on at all. So, just to check on the battery, I actually turned the, the headlights on, went out, looked at the headlights, and tried to figure out whether the batteries were bad. The batteries were not bad as far as I thought anyway. I went out, looked at the lights. The lights were pretty bright. I popped the hood and I was looking at, checking out the battery, battery terminals, battery. Uh, and this is pretty much probably the first thing you should do in these kind of situations. A lot of, most of the time it's just the battery, the terminals are dirty or whatever. And I didn't do that last time because it cranked up after so many tries. Anyway, look at the battery. I noticed that the terminals were a little bit dirty. And because they were dirty, I was like, all right, let's clean them up. And they were a bit loose too. I was, I was able to wiggle them. So like I took the terminals off, had a metal brush, brushed it off. Brushed it, brushed both of them off. Uh, there was some white bluish stuff on there. Brushed it off, popped it back in, and bolted them on pretty damn, pretty darn good. Bolted them on pretty good so that they were tight. Went back and tried to start it, and guess what? Did not do a thing. Now, if you guys got to this stage and it worked for you, congratulations, easy fix but it didn't work for me. So I was scratching my head after that, okay, maybe the battery is weak, but if the battery was weak, I would still be able to at least get a slow crank out of it, like a slow crank, but it wouldn't just cr turn over. So I was like, weirder things have happened, let's, let's boost the battery. So I have a booster pack that I bought from Walmart. Well, actually I bought one from Walmart, but I did actually but I did get another booster pack from Harbor Freight, which the which is the one I use for it. And I got that because uh because of what's been happening over the last two months. I put the booster pack on there and turn it on. And I was like, okay, this should start it. Maybe I just need to change my battery. Turn it on. Try to turn it on. And nothing. Still the same thing. No issues whatsoever. So, all right. At that point, even if the booster pack was kind of low on voltage, which it wasn't. It was all the way up to four. I, this is the first, that's the first time I used it. And I'm like, okay. 
All right, we can eliminate the battery being the problem, not the battery. So I'm scratching my head. I'm like, okay, not the battery. Definitely not the alternator at this point because if it was the alternator, the booster pack would have jump started the car. And then <clears throat> as soon as I took the booster pack off, it would have died. So if you guys are in a situation where you guys think it's the alternator, just know that like 99% of the time your car will die out. Well, will die out with the car running if it was the alternator. And then... And then to test that out, you guys would ju just jump it, and then the car would start, and then you would take the the the, the um, you know the cables off, and then the car would die out. So it wasn't the alternator. I know 100% for a fact it wasn't the alternator. No 100% fact it's not the battery. None of those two things. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, not the alternator, not the battery. What could it be? <clears throat> so I was like. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Maybe it's the ground wire because a ground wire, a bad ground wire, a disconnected ground wire, not strong enough ground will cause these kind of situations to occur. So I was like, I was looking and trying to figure out where the ground led to the to the frame of the car. And normally the main ground would be the negative line from the battery terminal. It would ground to the frame of the car. And that was fine. It wasn't disconnected. Uh, it was bolted on tight. I didn't see too much rust on it. I, I you know, it, I kind of just threw that aside. I just thought it was a given that it was not the ground wire that was the problem. Fine. So at this point, it's not the battery. It's not the alternator. It's not the ground wire. Okay. Maybe it's the ignition. Possible it's the ignition. And, uh... I didn't think it was the ignition or the key fob, to be honest with you. Did not think it was any of those things. Not that I actually did do a thorough check on that, but <clears throat> but I did change the, the, the key fob, the, the the battery on the key fob recently, so I don't think that's the case. So I'm like, okay, let's move on to the fuses and the relays. Now, could it be one of the fuses or the relays? Okay, so basically, I know it's not, it's got nothing to do with the fuel pump, the relay, or the fuel pump itself, certainly in those instances, for the most part, it will not start, but it will crank, and I don't hear a crank, so could it be the relay, could, re could it be the starter relay, could it be the starter relay, I was thinking to myself, maybe it could be the starter relay, but then again, I figured, had the hood up, Every time I try to start it, I would hear a click, like a click, like a click, like a click. Now, normally that's what the relay does, all right? If you don't hear a click, that means the relay isn't working. But I do hear a click, so there is electricity going to the relay to the starter. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, all right, all right, all right. So it's probably, it's probably not the relay so moving on probably can't, i cancel that out not the relay if you hear it clicking you know every time you try to turn it on it'll click once probably not the relay so i'm thinking to myself could it be a fuse could it be a fuse could it be a fuse okay what are the possibilities that it's a fuse now just going off the top of my head i've had couple instances where a fuse caused uh, a, a car not to start a car that I had not to start or instances where I where I know for a fact that fuses would cause a car not to start here's here's one of those instances okay and one of those instances where on an older car the the car would crank it would crank but it would not start it would not turn over turned out to be it was I believe it was the fuse to the OBD2 or the, the fuse to the OBD, the, 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 the fuse to the computer of the car or a fuse to the, the um, fuel pump. One of those two things. Change the fuse up, car start right off. But this is not one of those situations because I hear no crank at all. Now, I had this other situation where I... 
a fuse was blown and I had no power to the car whatsoever. It would not crank, but nothing turned on. Nothing, no dash, nothing. It, it, it was as if the battery was taken out of the car and there was nothing. So it turned out it was a main fuse and it was a common feature in a lot of Hondas and Acras. Main fuse that was blown, changed the main fuse, the car, everything worked, turned on, everything. So it was not that situation it was not that situation all right now the last thing I figured was maybe it was maybe it could be the car's computer perhaps it's the car's computer so I had I had like a an OBD2 that I had purchased from Walmart for 19 bucks and I was thinking to myself, let's plug it in. Because I know for a fact that OBD2 will not tell you these no starts issues. Not a regular one anyway. Uh, for the most part, most OBD2 that you buy, unless it's like those $2,000 OBD2s or whatever. Anyway, I, I had this little $19 computer OBD2 that I bought from Walmart. You guys don't know what that is. It's the little computer that hooks up to your car's computer. And normally there's a slot under the steering wheel. Or the driver's side compartment under there. You could plug it in. And then you could do your little test. Plugged it in. And uh, I was hoping that wasn't the car's computer. Because that would be a bigger issue than any of those other issues. Because then you'd have to change out the computer and all that crap. And trying to figure out like which wire is the problem. Short, whatever. Anyway, I was like, let's plug it in and see if it gives me any anything. And it did give me... It plugged in. It connected. It ran its little test. Uh, nothing came up. No codes. Nothing on there came up. It says no codes. And I and that at that point I was like, okay, okay. I assumed at that point that it was probably the starter that was the problem. So I had to do some work as far as figuring out whether it was a starter that was the problem. I did take out the relay, take off the relay, did the pin test. You guys don't know what the pin test is. You guys can do a direct jump on the starter from the relay socket. Uh, there are videos on it. I did that test and it did not jump. The starter did not do a single thing. And I was 99% sure it was the starter. 99% sure the starter grew out everything else. And I did eventually take a fuse test to test out all the fuses. And it wasn't any of the fuses, not the relay. Uh, and I eliminated pretty much everything, pretty much everything. I didn't, didn't do the whole ignition thing, but, um, but anyway, anyway, um, so I knew it was probably the, the, the starter went and did some work on it, took out everything, got to the starter um, just to triple check it, I actually put a line to the solenoid terminal of the starter, try to jump it directly, directly, and it didn't do anything. So at that point, I knew it was starter, took it out, went to AutoZone, had them test it out a four time. Definitely, it was the starter, that was the problem. And here's the thing. Here's why I didn't jump on it being a starter problem to, uh, in the beginning. I didn't jump on it being a starter problem in the beginning. Pretty much because the starter was swapped out about a year ago. And it was a rebuilt starter. And I was very disappointed because I only put in like 10,000 miles on the vehicle after the starter was, re was replaced. Anyway, uh, they gave me another one. It was 100% warranted, and got that, popped it in, put everything back, popped it in, uh, and uh, just before I put everything back in, I actually did a test on it, make sure it cranked. It did crank, turned the car on, and it cranked up just like that. Bam, 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 
it worked out all good so definitely was the starter guys it was the starter that was the issue um, if you guys watch this video and you guys went through all the troubleshooting steps that I told you guys that I went through and uh, none of those were the issue there is a probably a 99% chance that it is the starter uh, majority of these situations where the car would not start after you figure out all the things uh, eliminate all the possibilities that it could have been you guys are left with one single possibility which is the starter not the worst situation in the world considering but it was a hassle anyway I uh, hope this has helped you guys out if you guys can please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please leave a message in the message comment section all right guys i uh, hope uh you know whatever situation you guys in obviously if you guys are watching this video it's because you guys are looking for a fix for your situation hope that this has fixed your situation um all right guys uh take care